All right, so this is what happens once a client reaches out to me. I talk to him, and it's time to send him that proposal. I'm CJ Williams, and this is the life of a video producer. All right, so thank you guys for joining me in this video. I want to talk about um, first how I got this client, um, kind of go over the conversation a little bit, and then how I'm getting them proposal, what I'm using to send the proposal and the things I'm including in the proposal. All right, so let's first talk about how I got this client. Uh, this client came through on Thumbtack, which is something a lot of people talk about they're, they're fearful, fearful of because you probably have to lower your price a little bit on Thumbtack, but it is a direct way for people to find you. Like it's a great way of acquiring clients. My first year out, it was pre pretty much how I got all my clients in my first year. Then I stopped using it for a while. Cause I got cocky thinking, oh yeah, I'll be all right. But I probably should have stayed on it for a while just to build that up, build up catalog, build up. Cause a lot of the people that I worked with for the next year or so after that were people I found on Thumbtack. So it's a great way to build up your business, uh, build up consistent clientele. Um, but then you never know what can come from that. All right. So I found this person on Thumbtack, an account I have on Thumbtack, but I recently re uh, increased the the my willingness for what I was willing to pay for a lead so it, the lead cost me a hundred something dollars and I'll probably make six or seven hundred dollars profit if she accepts the proposal which if you look at it spending a hundred something dollars making six hundred seven hundred dollars I'll do that every time you telling me I, for every hundred dollars I spend I'll make seven hundred I think that's good let me know what you think in the comments all right so I found on Thumbtack uh, soon as somebody reach out, soon as somebody, as soon as I get that notification on Thumbtack, I reach out to them, send them a text in the app, and I also it also gives you their phone number, so you can reach out through their phone. Number. I did that. It was late last night when it came across eleven something, so I said that. But she actually called me back today, um, next day. So that's good. We talked, and she's looking for talking head videos, something simple and plain. But I kind of want to impress her a little bit, so I'm throwing at her, you know, hey, I'll, I'll include a second camera for free. Um, she's, she's thinking maybe she don't want B-roll. She don't know what it is. I'm like, you definitely want B-roll. And what we can do, we can, I'll give you, a, I'll show you what it looks like with B-roll. I'll get the B-roll while I'm there. Show you what it looks like with it. If you don't like it, we take it out. She wants to do two videos. I'm like, yeah, we can do that. She's going to be, she got the location. So we ain't worried about that. Um, you know, one may, may be indoor or backyard at the house she's going to be at. And the other one's going to be indoor. So not really worried about that. My whole goal is getting her as a client because she works in a medical field She's a doctor. I'm thinking there'll be plenty more work to come. Let me get in and impress her now with what I could do. Um, so we talk and I tell her roughly what it would, the price would be. She said, okay, what's the next step in the process? My next step is getting a proposal over to you. Proposal with a contract and an invoice. Now, what I use for this is Dubzato because it's pretty much the only thing I've ever used. Now, there are other options out there, of course. There's like HoneyBook and there's Proposify and I'm sure there's others, but Dubzato has, I've, it's, it's always my clients are always impressed by it because it's pretty it's professional looking i'm able to put together a proposal um i detail it out i can add videos and stuff in it um i can put add-ons and stuff they can click to add different things onto it and um once they once they approve that it takes them straight to the contract which they can read over sign and then once they sign that it takes them straight to the invoice so i mean this is and then once the, I get to know, I know when they open it up. So once I send it, I always send a text message to let them know, hey, I sent it. Because sometimes it goes to the spam folder. So they, I send it over and I let them know. And I can tell when they open it up. I can look in and they'll tell me if they viewed it or whatever. So, But I always one thing I always do is I schedule a follow-up call with them. So while I'm on the phone with them the first time, I say, hey, I'm going to send you the proposal. When's a good time for us to get back or a good time for a follow-up? And they let me know. So we'll always be able to go over the proposal. So Dubsado, great. Check it out. I think I pay like $40 a month for it, which, I mean, it pays for itself uh, with all the things I'm able to do. And there's also other stuff, putting forms on web on my website and getting people into workflows with that. Like, it's, it's pretty thorough. I like it. Um I wouldn't change now because I mean it, it does the job for me. And of course, there are other things that might be better, but this is what I'm used to. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So in the proposal, I like to be as detailed as possible. Um, I always put out. Um, I like to put examples. I put like my demo reel 
that'll be like the first video that's in there um and then i'll put i try to list as many examples that i can that i have of videos that are closely related to what we're doing so if she were a realtor i would put the videos i did with other realtors but she's in the medical field so i have a video i did with a dentist so i may put that in there but i also have the video i'm putting in there is definitely going to be a video with a two camera set up and b-roll so i'm definitely going to put that in there and make sure she knows why i put that video in there so she can see hey this is what a two camera production looks like with b-roll she can see that um so she knows what she can expect um so that's that make sure i always make sure i have video in there can't be talking about video and helping somebody produce video if you don't include video in your proposal right so it just makes sense then i go into detail about how this is going to break down as far as how we're going to maybe the order which we're going to do things and i for this one it's pretty simple i say hey we're going to do video one script video two reading from the script and then she wants to take a couple photos we'll do that and i let her know hey we can do this in any order that you want um so that's just going to be on her just to let her know hey there's a you know there's a process for this one it's not that you know this is this is a basic shoot for me um then i make some recommendations hey make sure you might want to bring a change of clothes change outfits you want a different look also let her know what the setup is going to consist of two cameras it's going to be an overhead mic let her know it's going to take like 20 minutes for each setup just to make sure we got lighting right and all that stuff um just so she know just be as thorough as possible in that and I also, of course, the add-ons, I make a re recommendation for her. She's going to be new. So I make a re recommendation that we, um, she let me get our YouTube channel started up. You know, I will uh, get the channel art done based on the pictures. We're going to take pictures. I'll get the channel art done, get a YouTube channel started up, and I'll upload the videos we do. Get the thumbnails created for, um, get them optimized, all that stuff. Let her know we're going to do that as well. So that's just something she may, hopefully she clicks on to add a little bit more to that. Um, and then, um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I send it to her. I'll, I'll send her a text message to let her know that I sent it. And then uh, we'll follow back up tomorrow. Hopefully she accept it. But um, yeah, hopefully. I mean, I don't know why. She pretty much, I pretty much gave her the price already. Um, she seemed pretty, like she was, that was okay with it. It was, it was within her range. Um, I didn't want to go at the top of her range again, because I want to get her as a client. I want to impress her right now out the gate in hopes that in the future she calls me for uh anything else she needs so that's that pretty much we'll see how this goes uh, be sure to leave comments if you guys have questions about anything i'm doing with this client uh, again so this talk about how i got this client sending a proposal conversation we had all that stuff and what i use for my proposals uh be sure to subscribe to the channel i'd love to get more information out to you guys seeing you liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel only keeps me going so um look forward to doing more um I'll see you guys next time.